Good afternoon, YouTubers. I'm not an expert. Today, we're going to look at our old pair of pliers. These are Dymaloys. There they are. You read that? I'm trying to get it. There we go. Dymaloy from Duluth, Minnesota, Diamond Tool Company, I believe. Uh, nice pair of pliers. I served these on a flea market find a while back. I have a little problem. The whole problem is that, can you see how much that jaw wiggles? Is it visible? Obvious to you that you could. It's got a little bit of looseness. So what it is, is there's three pieces. There's two basically identical pieces, the left and right side. And then there's the pin in the center. And the pin is stuck permanently to one. And the other one pivots around it. Now, the problem is that that's gotten a little loose. And I see that someone has probably used a center punch to try and tighten that up. Because that's the trick that I thought we would do. So I went on the internet and said, what does the internet say? And the internet had a couple of different ideas. One is to take a ball peen hammer, put the peen on it, hit it with another hammer and, and try and spread the entire pin out. If that doesn't work, I'm going to try taking a, a punch of the right diameter and doing the same thing, trying to, trying to peen it out with a punch. I think I'll try the ball peen hammer first because that sounds interesting. So I have my Kena Anvil Company Anvil. <laughs> and I have my little ball peen hammer. I'm going to try and center on there. I'm going to take a great big ball peen hammer. And I'm going to hit it and see if it tightens that up. And you can see, hopefully, see that dimple? Now let's see how the wiggle is. Exactly the same as before. <laughs> Maybe a little bit tighter. I'm going to try it again with this. It may be that the peen I'm hitting it with is too small. Should go the other way? Hit it with a giant ball peen? Let's do it with a giant ball peen. Let me get a different hammer. I own a lot of hammers. There's got to be one that's appropriate. Here we go. So I got my giant ball peen hammer and my, whatever that is. Let me aim the camera a little better for you. Make this, make this a little more sporting. Here we go. Get that centered well. Okay, and we'll hit that. Let's see if we got anywhere with that. You know what? I think that is a little bit tighter. Oh, it's a lot tighter this way. <laughs> Let me uh, wiggle it a little, loosen it up. Well, I'll tell you, it's still got a little bit of wiggle, but it's a lot better than it was. I don't think hitting it with anything else is going to make that any better. So, you know, it was never unusably bad. Yeah, that's pretty good now. So that worked. The uh, I'm going to give credit to the, uh, the large ball peen hammer. That's a pretty beefy one. I don't know if I ever showed that before. That's from Bond. Made in USA. It's a pretty good hammer, stubby little handle. I don't, uh, I'm sure I got that at the flea market or maybe at a garage sale. I don't recall. It's got some, it's got some weight to it. Not like this one, little tiny guy. All right. So that was a, oh, there's another hammer. I got a lot of hammers. This one has a fiberglass handle and it uh, transmits every bit of shock right through to your hand. It is kind of awful. Good hammer head though. I should. And put that on my list of new hammers to make, new handles to make. I'll probably never get to it. All right, well, that's all I got for today. My dime alloys are better than they were, I think. Hope you guys are out repairing tools or having fun or watching videos. We'll catch you later.